Hi, it's Steve here from Post Processing Mastery and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you an easy way to brighten dark shadows in Photoshop CC. So the shot we're looking at at the moment is quite a dark exposure and I had to kind of underexpose for the sky here otherwise we would have lost a lot of the detail in the highlights. But obviously as a result a lot of this has gone a bit too dark. So the way that I'm going to brighten these shadows now is actually one of the real big benefits of the later versions of Photoshop and that is by using the camera raw filter. So uh, I'll just duplicate the background so we can work on a new layer and don't make any changes to the background that we can't change. And I'll just convert that to a smart object so that we could possibly tweak the uh, filter settings after we apply them. And with that done, I'll just come up to the filter menu and you'll see here if you're using Photoshop CC, I think it was in CS6 as well, you, uh, you have this option here of a camera raw filter. And what this gives you is uh, the, the camera raw engine, which is what you would use or what Photoshop would open your raw files in when you open them directly into Photoshop for your raw conversions. And the reason I like to come back and use this is simply because these uh, shadows and highlights sliders are just, are just so effective. So what I'll do, just picking the shadows to begin with, I'll just slide the uh, slider up towards the right hand side. Maybe the blacks will... Um, help a little bit as well, just bring a bit of detail out there. And uh, I think I might just brighten the image overall. So I'll just use the exposure slider. Careful not to overexpose anything, just keeping an eye on the histogram there. And if I did, like if I did want to maybe brighten the whole thing a bit more than that, then I can recover some of the highlights using this slider here. Need to be careful when doing this in uh, you know using sliders to make sure that it doesn't end up looking like a dodgy HDR image. But I think this is a good start for us to uh, just click OK. And once that's finished applying those settings, we can just compare the before and after. And so here we go. This is the after with uh, a bit more detail. We can see some more brightness coming into these shadow areas here. And compared to this original background layer here, obviously we can see that's a lot more bright. And, uh, you know, we can see nicely into those shadow details. Now, from here on in, I would, uh, you know, continue using my post-processing workflow to, uh, to edit this image to completion. If you're not familiar with my workflow, then I've got a PDF cheat sheet that you can download. It's about 20 pages long and just goes into the six steps, six major steps of my own workflow. And just describes how I take an image literally from a raw file to finished product. So if you want that, then there should be a, a button on the screen at the moment in the video window where you can just go and click that and download that PDF. Otherwise, just hit the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any of my upcoming Photoshop tutorials on YouTube.